Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is going to be for the Seaside Afghan. This is a gorgeous multicolored afghan made using four different colors from lights to darks. And this is the pattern that I used to make the granny twist scarf that I just posted a few days ago. I love making this design because it's very quick, very easy, and now I turned it into a full-size afghan. I'll be right back and I'll tell you everything you need to know to start making this afghan. So now we're going to go over what you need to make this afghan. From the time I ordered the yarn until I got the afghan finished, one of the colors is on back order and they don't know if they're going to get it back in and that is this color here the sky blue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a substitute yarn that you can get that almost closely matches this color here so to begin you're going to need three skeins of either cream now i use cream and i think in the beginning of the video i said i'm going to grab my white but I did use cream, so uh, please ignore that minor mistake in my video. But you can order either cream, color number 1115-32, or you can order the white if you prefer that brighter color. So the white is color number 01, and the cream is number 32. So it's all in your preference of which one you like better with the blues. So you're going to need three skeins of either the white or the cream. Now, again, I use the cream. You're going to need two skeins of light blue. This is color number 1115-23, a light blue. So two skeins of the light blue. You're going to need two skeins of the sky blue. And this is color number 1115-24. And I do believe Hirschners.com carries this yarn. I'm not sure if they have any left in stock, but you may be able to get this if you jump over to Hirschners. And then you need two skeins of the sky blue. And I'll give you a substitute in just a minute. And then you're going to need two skeins of royal blue color number 1115-22 so basically I use four colors I used the cream color and then you need three colors from light to dark of whatever color you want to use again this is available on Hirschners.com website as long as they have it in stock right now the sky blue but if you prefer to order your yarn directly from Premier Yarns website I'll have a special link in the description box if you click that link you can save 10% off your first order so this is a substitute yarn that I found in my stash that looks almost identical to this color. It's a little bit darker, but it works good for that medium blue. So if you hold that there, you can see how it blends in with those other two blues. So side by side, a little bit darker, but pretty close. And this has the Deborah Norville label, but this is the Premier Yarns Every Day and this is the color cornflower let me get that number up there it's item ed 100-18 cornflower and i believe this is on sale right now so they're probably going to discontinue this color as well but i do know they have this in stock and this is a dollar 99 a skein but you're going to need four skeins of this yarn in order to get the yardage you need to match up with this so again, you need three skeins of the cream or white and then two skeins of three different colors of the Premier Basics. If you're going to substitute this sky blue, then you're going to need four skeins of the Premier Anti-Pilling Every Day in the color cornflower now you'll have to go under sale and find this because this is one of the sale yarns for $1.99 a skein so you're going to need four skeins of this if you substitute it for the sky blue and then you're going to need a crochet hook size j10 or a six millimeter hook you're also going to need a yarn needle to weave in those ends 
Now this afghan measures 45 inches across by 63 inches long, so it's a very nice size afghan. I'll put the material list in the description box underneath this video so you can get the material list of everything you need to make this afghan as shown here. So for this afghan, we're going to start with our cream color. And again, I apologize for saying white in the video. You can either choose cream or you can choose white. Grab your crochet hook, grab your cream colored yarn, and let's get started. To begin, I already tied my yarn around my hook. I just use a double knot. You could use whichever method you prefer. So for this afghan, we're going to chain 128. You're going to yarn over. Pull through the loop on your hook and that creates your first chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's two, three, four. Continue until you have 128 chains. I'll come back and we'll get row one started. I'm back. I have my chain with 128 chains and my best suggestion is make sure you double count your chain before you begin because there's nothing more frustrating than to get to the end of that first row and realize you made a mistake in your chain count and then you have to rip it out and start over. So it only takes a few seconds to recount those chains. So let's go ahead and get row one started. We're going to start and we're going to work three double crochet into the sixth chain from hook. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip one, two, three, four, five chains, and you're going to insert into that sixth chain. Work three double crochet, yarn over, pull through that chain, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a double crochet. Now this beginning five chains that we skipped counts as a chain, a double crochet, and then a chain one. So let's go ahead and work two more double crochet into that same chain, yarn over, insert into that same chain, work a double crochet yarn over, insert back into that same chain, work a double crochet. When you look at your work, you should have three double crochet all into that same chain. Now we're going to start our repeat, very simple repeat. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip one, two chains, insert into the third chain, and work three double crochet one, two, and three. So when you look at your work, you skip two chains and work three double crochet into that next chain. So let's do it again. Yarn over, skip the next two chain, insert into the next chain, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And that's all there is to the pattern. So I'll show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next two chain, insert into the next chain, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And that's the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue across. Again, you're going to skip the next two chain, work three double crochet into the next chain. Skip two chain, work three double crochet into the next chain. Repeat that across until you get to the last two chain. Stop there and I'll be back and show you how to finish the row. I'm over at the end of row one. You should have two chains remaining. So now we're going to finish the row. You're going to chain one. You're going to yarn over, skip the next chain, insert into the last chain, and work a double crochet. 
row one is finished, this is what your work should look like. You have those three double crochet groups going across your first row. And now we're getting ready to start row two. For row two, we're going to chain two. One, two. This beginning chain two is going to count as our first double crochet. Now with this pattern, I chain two because when I chain three, it usually like bows out a little bit and I don't like that in my pattern. I like a nice straight edge. So by chaining two instead of three, it gives you a nice straight edge on your work. You're going to turn your work. We're going to skip this beginning chain two we just made. You're going to skip that first stitch and we're going to work two double crochet right into this chain one space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that first chain one space, work two double crochet. One. And two. So for row two, very simple pattern, we're going to be working three double crochet between each group of three double crochet across. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next three stitches, insert your hook between the skip three stitches and that next group, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. That's all there is to it. So let's do it again. Yarn over the hook, skip the next three stitches, insert between the skip three and that next group, right between those groups of stitches, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over, skip the next three stitches, insert between the skip three and that next group, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So continue and work three double crochet between each group of three double crochet until you get to the end of the row. You will work your last set of three double crochet right between the last two groups of three double crochet. So go ahead and work your three double crochet here at the end. Stop there and I'll be back and I'll show you how to finish row two. I'm over at the end of row two. We have one set of three double crochet stitches and our ending turning chain remaining. So how you end the row is you're going to yarn over, you're going to skip those three double crochet, you're going to insert your hook right between the skip three double crochet and that ending turning chain, insert your hook and work three double crochet. One. two, and three. So now we are done with our white, so I'm just going to fasten off my work. And rows one and two is our base rows. So just fasten off, and then you're going to turn your work, and then you're going to grab your light blue, and then we're going to attach our new color. Now I found a new way of attaching my color that I like so much better. So what I do is I tie my new color onto my hook. You can use whichever method you prefer. And then we're going to grab our work. Remember our work has been turned and now we're on the right side of our work. We're going to insert our hook right into the top of that very first stitch. You can see the top two loops, insert your hook going to pull that white out of my way. You're going to yarn over, 
pull it through the top of that stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook and you can see how it has a nice secure uh, attachment of that new color so I really like how that's done so that's my new way of joining my color so now we're going to start row three now rows three through six are going to be the rows that you're going to repeat and then you just change colors with the start of every new repeat of that row three we'll be changing colors so that's every four rows you'll be changing colors so let's go ahead and start and we're going to be working our textured stitch on this row we're going to start with the chain three one two and three now this chain three the first two chains count as the double crochet and then our chain one space we're going to skip the first three stitches of the row and we're going to be working into this chain one space on the current row we're going to work a double crochet and then we're going to come down and work a front post triple around this center stitch and then we're going to come back and work a double crochet on the other side of the front post triple we just made and we're going to repeat that across to the end of the row to the last group so let's begin we're going to yarn over you're going to skip those first three stitches insert into that next chain one space work a double crochet you're going to yarn over twice you're going to drop down two rows below one two and we're going right into the center stitch of that three stitch group insert from front to back and then back to front you're just going underneath the post of that stitch and then you're going to work a triple crochet yarn over the hook pull it underneath and around the post of that stitch and you need to pull up a loop you need to have a little bit of length there in that stitch yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops you're going to yarn over and we're coming back up to the chain one space of the current row insert back into that chain one space of the top current row and work a double crochet and that is the end of the repeat so we're going to do that again you're going to yarn over you're going to skip the next three stitches insert into that next chain one space on the top current row work a double crochet yarn over twice you're going to drop down two rows below one two we're going into the center stitch of that three stitch group insert from front to back back to front underneath the post of that stitch yarn over pull underneath and around the post of that stitch and pull up a loop you're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two we're going to yarn over we're going back into that top current row right into that same chain one space and work a double crochet and again that is the end of the repeat so you can see that we're working in sets of three stitches so let's do it one more time and then you can continue on your own you're going to yarn over you're going to skip the next three stitches insert into that next chain one space work a double crochet yarn over twice drop down two rows one two we're going right into the center stitch of that three stitch group insert from front to back back to front around the post of that stitch work a triple crochet yarn over pull underneath the post of that stitch and pull up a loop you're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and when you're working around the post of the stitch that is what creates the front post triple because we're going from front to back and back to front and we're working on the front of our work so don't let that intimidate you if you're new to crocheting just take your time and one step at a time we're going to yarn over insert back into that same chain one space on the top current row work a double crochet 
and that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and repeat, skip the next group of three stitches, work a double crochet into that next chain one space, work a front post triple in the center stitch two rows below, and then come back up and work a double crochet into that same chain one space. Now if you need help, just click back on the video and start where I say this is the start of the repeat and work until I say this is the end of the repeat and repeat that across to the last group and I'll meet you there and show you how to finish row three. I'm over at the end of row three. We just worked our last set of three stitches in that opening between the three stitch group and now we're at the last group of stitches. So now to end this row, we're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next two double crochet and we're going to work a double crochet right into the top of our turning chain. You're going to yarn over, skip the two double crochet, one, two, and then come right up to the top of your turning chain, insert your hook and work a double crochet. So row three is finished. This is what your work should look like. You have those three stitches going between each set of stitches. So just a beautiful pattern starting to form. Now we're gonna go ahead and start row four. We're gonna start with the chain two. One, two. You're going to turn your work. We're going to skip this beginning chain two. We're going to skip this first double crochet and we're going to work two double crochet right into this first space here. You're going to yarn over, insert into that chain one space between the first stitch and that next group and work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, work a double crochet. And when you look at your work, your beginning chain two counts as the first double crochet. You work two double crochet stitches, and here's your first set of three stitches. So now we're working on the wrong side of our work, and we're just going to be working three double crochet in between each set of three stitches across. So let's begin, yarn over, skip those next three stitches or that next group of stitches, Insert between the skip group and that next group right into that opening. Work three double crochet. One. Two. And three. And that is all there is to it. So let's do it again. Yarn over, skip the next group of three stitches, insert between the skip group and that next group right into that space and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. Let's do it one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over, skip that next group of stitches, insert between the skip group and that next group, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So go ahead and work three double crochet between each group of three double crochet across until you get to the ending turning chain I'll meet you there and show you how to finish row four. I'm over at the end of row four. We have one set of three stitches and a cluster left and then our turning chain. To end the row, you're going to yarn over, you're going to skip that last cluster of stitches, and you're going to insert your hook right into the space between the skip three stitch cluster and that ending turning chain. Insert your hook and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. 
Row four is finished. This is the wrong side of your work and this is what your work should look like. Now we're ready to begin row five. We're going to start with the chain three. One, two, three. The beginning chain three, the first two chain counts as the double crochet and then you have your chain one. You're going to turn your work. You're going to yarn over. We're going to skip that first group of stitches, those three stitches. We're going to be working in between each group of three stitches across. So insert your hook between the first and second group of stitches and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And again, this pattern is working in sets of three stitches. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next set of three stitches, insert between the skip set and the next set, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So let's do it one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next three stitches, insert between the skip three and that next group, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So go ahead and repeat three double crochet between each group of three double crochet across your row. I'll meet you at the last group of three stitches at the end of the row and show you how to finish row five. I'm over at the end of row five. This is what your work should look like. You should have two double crochet and your ending chain remaining. We're going to finish the row and chain one you're going to yarn over, skip the next two double crochet, and insert your hook right into the top of that turning chain and work a double crochet. Row five is finished. This is what your work should look like going across your strip. Now we're getting ready to start row six, which is the last row of our repeat rows and we're just going to repeat row four is the same as row six. You're going to chain two, one, two, and you're going to turn your work. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the beginning chain two, you're going to skip that first stitch, insert into that first chain one space, and work two double crochet. One, and two. And when you look at your work, your beginning chain two counts as the first double crochet, and then you have two more to count as your first three stitch cluster. So now we're going to start our repeat. You're going to yarn over, skip the next three stitches, insert between the skip three and that next group right into that space, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. I'll show you one more time. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next three stitches, insert into that next space between the skip three stitches and that next group of stitches, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. Go ahead and work three double crochet between each group of three double crochet across to the last group of three double crochet and your ending turning chain. I'll meet you at the end of row six and show you how to finish the row. I'm over at the end of row six. You have one cluster remaining and then your ending turning chain. To finish row six, you're going to yarn over. You're going to skip those next three stitches, insert between the skip three stitches and that ending turning chain right into that space and work three double crochet. 
one, two, and three. Row six is finished. This is the wrong side of your work, and this is what it should look like going across your afghan. So row six is the end of our repeat rows. We're repeating rows three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to go ahead and fasten off my light blue. You're going to turn your work. And now we're on the right side of our afghan. So you can always tell the right side because you're going to have your textured stitches on the right side of the afghan. So row six is finished. We turned our work and this is where we are so far on the afghan. So I'm just going to lay it here on the afghan. And when you look at the afghan, you can see that this pattern you're repeating rows three, four, five, and six. Row three, four, five, and six. Three, four, five, and six. Over and over. And you're just changing colors at the start of every repeat of those rows. So it's a very simple pattern. Again, you're just going to repeat rows three through six, changing colors every time you start row three of that pattern. So I typed up the paper showing you which colors you use in which rows, but it's very simple. You're working from light to dark. So you take however many colors you're using. If you're using different colors than this video, you start with your light color and then you use your next color and you work your way up to the dark. So in this pattern, we're going cream, light blue, sky blue, royal blue. So you're just going to repeat that until you get to the end of row 112, which with this pattern, we started with two rows of white and I'm going to end the pattern with two rows of white. So when you get to the end of the afghan, now let me just take my paper. Again, you can pause the video here, just pause the video and you can write this down real quick if you need the actual instructions of how to change colors and where. So let me pull the afghan down to the end. And when you get to the end, this is going to be row 112. And when you look, you'll see that you started with row three and then you worked with row four. And then you're going to stop at the end of row 112. Now I'm going to lay this here one more time in case you wanna pause the video and write this down. This is a sequence of how you should put your colors in. And then I'll be back and I'll show you how to put the border on our afghan. I'm over at the end of row 112 and when you look at your work you should only have two rows of the cream color when you end the afghan. So we're on the wrong side of our work and now we're going to turn our work and we're going to start the afghan border. So now we're going to start round one of our border and please excuse me because this thing is so big and I'm filming right on the edge of my table and it wants to keep falling off. So uh, excuse me, this has turned a little awkward. That's the way I have to film because of the way I'm set up. So let's begin round one of the border. We're going to skip the first stitch and we're going to insert into the second stitch and work a slip stitch. So we're starting in the second stitch of the three double crochet group. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now this chain four, the first three chain are going to act as a double crochet and then you're going to have an extra chain because we're going to make a V stitch. You're going to yarn over, you're going to insert right back into that same second stitch, the center stitch of that group, work a double crochet. And our V stitch is made. So now what we're going to do to work across the top of the afghan, we're going to work a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet into the center 
of each three double crochet group across to the next corner. So let's begin. This is the start of the repeat. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip two double crochet stitches, and you're going into the top of the center three double crochet cluster right here, right into the top of that center stitch, going under both of those top loops, work a double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert back into that same stitch, and work a double crochet your V stitch is made. So let's do it again. Very simple pattern going across. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip two stitches, insert into the next stitch, which is the center stitch of that next three double crochet group. Work a double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert back into that same center stitch, work a double crochet. Your V stitch is made. I'll show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert into the next stitch which is the center stitch of that next three double crochet group, insert under the top two loops, work a double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert back into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. Your V stitch is made. That is the end of the repeat. So go ahead, if you need help, click back on the video. You're going to skip the next two stitches, work a double crochet, chain one double crochet into the center of each three double crochet group across to the next corner. I'll meet you there and then we'll continue with our border down the length of our afghan. I'm over at the corner. This is the top of the afghan and we just worked the first side of round one of the border. This is what the top of your afghan should look like. You should have one V stitch in the center stitch of each cluster across until you get to the last cluster and we get to our corner. So I made my last V stitch in that center stitch and now we're going to make our corner and then start working down the side of our afghan. For the corner we're going to chain two, one, two, and then you're just going to turn your afghan keeping it face front Keeping it right side facing, you're just going to turn it so you're going to be working down the length of the afghan now. We're going to yarn over, we're going right into the first row end stitch of this row going down the length. So this was the top of the afghan here, we worked into that stitch, and now we're working right around the post of this end stitch of that first row. Insert your hook underneath the post of that stitch work a double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert back into that same stitch, working underneath and around the post of that stitch, work a double crochet. Our V stitch is made. You're going to yarn over, insert underneath and around the post of that next row end stitch, work a double crochet. You're going to chain one, yarn over, insert back underneath and around the post of that end stitch, work a double crochet. So we have our first two V stitches made. Now these stitches are worked side by side because we have an extra row. So now we're going to start the pattern where we're only working our V stitches in the open mesh work here. We're skipping these solid rows the rest of the way down the length. So if you need help, this is where you're going to start on the video for the repeat down the side of your afghan. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip that next row, you're going to insert into the mesh row where it has the big opening, you're going to go underneath the post of that stitch of that row and work your V stitch. A double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert back underneath and around the post of that end stitch, and work a double crochet. 
your V stitch is made. So we're just going to continue working in the same manner. You're going to yarn over. Again, this is the start of the repeat. You're going to skip the next row. Insert underneath and around the post of that next row, which has the big open mesh opening right here. Work a double crochet. Chain one. Yarn over, insert back into that space, work a double crochet. And that's all there is to this side of the afghan. I'll show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next row, insert underneath and around the post of that next row end stitch where you have the big opening, work your V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet all underneath and around the post of that stitch. So that's all there is to it. If you need help, click back on the video. You're going to skip the next row. You're going to work a V stitch into this next open mesh row. Skip the next row. Work a V stitch into the next open mesh row. Continue until you get to the next corner. I'll meet you there and then we'll continue with the border. I'm over at my next corner. We just worked down the length of our afghan. This is what it should look like. You have your V stitch worked in each open end row down the length until you get to that last open end row where you made your last V stitch. So I'm going to zoom back up and then we're going to be working across the bottom of our afghan across that foundation chain. So again, when you get to the last row, going down the length of your afghan, you're ending with that V stitch into that last open end row down the length. And now we're going to make our corner. So we're going to chain two, one, two. Keeping the right side facing, you're going to turn your work and then we're going to begin working across the bottom of the foundation row. So for the bottom of the foundation row, we're going to be working our V stitch right into the center bottom of each group of those three double crochet stitches. So again, if you need help, then just click back on the video and this is the start of the repeat. You're going to yarn over, you're going to find your first group of three stitches going across the bottom of that foundation chain and right at the bottom of those three stitches you're going to see that opening where all three stitches are worked into that same chain. Insert into that chain and work a double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert back into that same chain at the base of those stitches and work your double crochet. So you have your corner chain two, and then we work our first V stitch right into the base of that first cluster going across the bottom of the foundation row. So to finish going across the foundation row, you're going to yarn over, find your next group of three stitches, follow those stitches down to that big chain where they're all into that same chain, insert into that chain, and work your V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert back into that same chain and work your double crochet. And that's all there is working your V stitches across the bottom of the afghan. So I'll show you one more time and then you can continue. You're going to yarn over, insert into the base of the next three double crochet group right into the chain where all three stitches go into that same chain. Work your V stitch double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert back into that same chain and work your double crochet. So that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and work your V stitch, a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the base of each cluster of three double crochet across to the next corner. I'll meet you there and then we'll continue. I just finished working across the bottom of our afghan and this is what your work should look like. You should have one V stitch in the center bottom of each three double crochet cluster across to the corner. So let me grab my work. 
So we're back over to the corner and we have one side to go on our border. So here we worked our V-stitch into that last three double crochet cluster and now we're going to work our corner. You're going to chain two, one, two. You're going to keep your afghan right side facing and then turn so you're working down the length of your afghan. Now we want this side to match the opposite side, so we're going to start this round by working our V-stitch into that first open mesh row end stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert around the post of that chain of that first row end stitch, and work your V-stitch. Double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert back under and around the post of that stitch, and work your double crochet. Your first V-stitch down the length is made. So now we're going to start the repeat. So if you need help, just click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and you're going to continue down to within the last row down your length. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over, skip the next row, insert your hook underneath and around the post of that open mesh row, work your V-stitch. Double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert back under and around the post of that same row and stitch, and work your double crochet. Your V-stitch is made, and that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it one more time. You're going to yarn over, skip that next row, insert your hook under and around the post of that next open mesh row and stitch, work a V-stitch. Double crochet, chain one, yarn over, insert back under and around the post of that stitch, and work a double crochet. Your V-stitch is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next row, work a V-stitch under and around the post of the next row and stitch, skip the next row, work your V-stitch under and around the post of that next row and stitch, continue down your length until you get to the last row. I'll meet you there and show you how to finish round one. I'm over at the end of round one. We worked a V-stitch in each of the open-ended row and stitches down the length. And now we're at the end of our fourth side of our afghan. So when you get to the end of round one, you're ending that last V-stitch in this open-ended row here. So now to finish the round, we're going to work another V-stitch right around the post of this last row down our length. You're going to yarn over, insert under and around the post of that last row end stitch, work your V-stitch. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet around the post of that same ending row end stitch. We're going to make our corner and you're going to chain two. One, two. We're going to come up and we're going to join into the third chain of this beginning chain four. So count up one, two, three, insert your hook into that third chain and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished and now we're going to jump right in and begin round two. Now we're going to go ahead and start round two of our border. So for round two, we're going to be working in the center of each V-stitch across, and we're going to work one V-stitch in the center of each V-stitch across to the next corner chain two space. So let's begin. We're going to start by slip stitching into the first chain one space of this first V-stitch. Insert your hook into the chain one space, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And this beginning chain four counts as our double crochet and then a chain one. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that same chain one space, work a double crochet. 
So now we're going to start our repeat. Again, we're going to work one V-stitch right into the center of each V-stitch across to the next corner. Yarn over, insert into the next chain one space of that next V-stitch right in the center and work a double crochet. Chain one, yarn over, insert back into that same chain one space, work a double crochet. Your V-stitch is finished and it should be right in the center of the one below. So let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, find your next V-stitch, insert into that chain one space and work a double crochet. Chain one, yarn over, insert back into that chain one space and work a double crochet. Your V-stitch is done. And when you look at your work, your V stitches are going to be stacked one on top of the other. So go ahead and work a V stitch of one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into the center of each V stitch across to the next corner chain two space. I'll meet you there and we'll continue. I'm over to my first corner chain two space. If you look at your work, you should have one V-stitch right into the center of each V-stitch across your afghan. So now when you get to the corner, we're going to work two V-stitches into this corner chain two space. You're going to yarn over, insert into that corner chain two space, work a double crochet, chain one, Yarn over, insert back into that same corner chain two space, work a double crochet. Your first V-stitch is made. We need to do that again into the same corner chain two space. So you can just pull those stitches back, yarn over, insert back into that same corner chain two space, work a double crochet, chain one, Yarn over, insert back into that same corner chain two space and work your double crochet. Your second V stitch is made. So you have one and two V stitches in that corner chain two space. And that is the end of the repeat. So what you're going to do is just click back on the video and you're going to work one V stitch in each V stitch across to the next corner and then you're going to work two V stitches into that corner chain two space. So let me get you started around the next side. So when you go to do the next side around your afghan, you're going to look for that first V stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert right into the center of that V stitch, work a double crochet, chain one, Yarn over, insert back into that same V-stitch, and work a double crochet. Again, you're working a V-stitch right in the top center of the V-stitch below. Go ahead, click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and you're going to repeat that around the remaining three sides. Again, you're working one V-stitch in the center of each V-stitch to the next corner. When you get to the corner, you're going to be working two V-stitches in that corner chain two space, and then you just start again working around the remaining sides. I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. You should be ending with your two V-stitches in that last corner chain two space, and then here's the first V-stitch that you made of round two. So we're going to join, we're going to count up one, two, three to the third chain of that beginning chain four. So count up one, two, three, insert into the third chain and work a slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. So now we're ready to start our last and final round of our border and we're going to begin by slip stitching into this beginning chain one space of that first V stitch of the round. Insert into the chain one space, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. We're going to chain three, one, 
two, and three, and this chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to work two more double crochet all into the same chain one space, yarn over, insert back into that chain one space, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain one space, and work a double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Now we're going to start the repeat. You're going to skip the next two double crochet, insert right into the center of that next V stitch, right in the center of that chain one space, and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that space, and pull through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and this beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. We're going to work two more double crochet into that same chain one space. Yarn over, insert back into that chain one space, work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain one space, work a double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let me show you one more time and then you can continue around. You're going to find the next chain one space of the next V stitch. You're going to insert your hook into the center of that V stitch in the chain one space and slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that chain one space and work two double crochet. One, and two. And that's all there is to working the border. So if you need help, just click back on that video and start where I say this is the start of the repeat and you're going to slip stitch into the chain one space of the next V stitch, chain three, and then work two more double crochet into that same chain one space. You're going to repeat that in the chain one space of each V stitch around. I'll meet you at the end of round three and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round three and we worked our slip stitch, chain three, and two double crochet in each chain one space of each V stitch around. This is what your border looks like. So to join our round, we're coming back down here to the same spot where we began with that slip stitch. So you have two double crochet remaining in your round. Take your hook, skip the two double crochet, insert into the next space right underneath the stitches of the beginning round, and slip stitch. And then we're just going to fasten off I usually chain two, one, two, pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, and then I grab the yarn, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. Now I'm going to go and weave in all my ends on the back, just turn it to the wrong side, and match your colors up with each row of that color, and then weave in, in and out through those stitches on the back of your work, and then just clip off after you secure that yarn underneath the stitches. Our afghan is finished. I have it thrown over the chair here where you can see it. You can see that beautiful textured design going up the afghan as we alternate from light to dark colors. Just a really beautiful simple pattern. So there we go showing the border and then a close up of those stitches. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial for the Seaside Afghan. The pattern link will be in the description box if you'd like to purchase that PDF file to go along with the video. Thank you everybody for stopping by and until next time, happy crocheting!